Okay. I seek my birthright. I love this guy. Okay, we've had a couple extra viewers since uh, last time. So we have Pepper757. I know who you are. Thank you very much for uh, finding the channel and following. Uh, where to go? Uh, Nanerdu13. Uh, thank you for following. A little bit opposite. Thank you for following. Know who you are as well. And Desert Punk101. Thank you for following. Okay, let's get into the game. And this time, unlike the last two times, we're actually going to get stuff done because I've installed an SSD into my computer. And oh my god, this game is running so fast now. I'm so happy. Oh, let's get into it. Let's get into it now. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Because the last few times I've tried to make this game work, it's just been so slow. But I fixed it. We've got it fast now. SSD is twice as fast as a uh, HDD. I highly recommend making it, uh, putting in an SSD in a gaming computer. In fact, I might even do a video in the future showing um, or just the same why I prefer an SSD over uh, hard drive for games like Total Warhammer. Not sure if we're doing much for Age of the Ring. I'm going to keep that in my C drive, but nah. Nah. Oh my, we are. Nice. People are watching a bit more of my, of my uh, streams while I've not been streaming. 56 views. I believe last time it was about 30. Okay, you can be quiet now, advisor. I don't need you. So, let's play the Dark Elves. The new update has really made Malekith's campaign and, to an extent, um, Hellebron's really a, a very big struggle in the beginning of the game. Well, late in the later tier of the game. Very well. Okay, let's get the military access with Hargnef. We want to make her one of my, our favourite people. Hag grief. Oh, they're rightly suspicious, so they're going to be difficult to confederate later on. Okay, we need to break him down. We need to beat him down, but he is not going to. Um, to be fair, though, him being strong isn't a bad thing. Oh, got a bit of lag here. Let's move. I'm going to try and confederate this prov province as fast as possible. Chillmane, what's your trait? Discipline, nice. That's a good trait. That's a good trait to start with. Okay. Okay, we want to be upgrading Nagarond. We need to keep this building in here because otherwise we can't uh, make Dark Shards, which we want to make a lot of. They are, be they are our best unit in the early game, in the mid, mid game, and even in the late game, they are our good units. Okay. Choose or die. Some things just take no choice at all. Ugh. A few lag spikes. I think that's natural though. I think that's just because I'm also running streamlines in the background. The main thing was that the um, the loading screens took so damn long. But now the SSD that has been cut down a lot. I might need to bring down a few um, other uh, settings, graphic graphical settings a bit down just to increase uh, running speed. It might, it might just be that uh, my computer just can't handle the game very well. But it's doing better than it has the last two weeks. I will take that and I'll take it to the grave. So then, what's the plans with this? We definitely want to, con we want to confederate Nagarond, the province, the Iron Mountains. We want to confederate... We want to make sure we get the rest of our province built up. We need to get Nagarond, the city, to um, 
tier five as soon as possible. We cannot wait around on that. We need to get it leveled up immediately. Immediately. Anyway, can we reach Hard Caldra? Oh, just perfect. Anyone sitting in the province? In the city? Hello. Skittis. Hmm. We can auto resolve this, but that can nuke our um, Reaper Bolt Throwers, which we will be needing for the majority of the campaign. So let's just fight. Let's just fight it out. I'll get better results if I actually fight it. They haven't got Dwellers Below yet, none of Scave and Corruption. So this is going to be a fight we're mostly favoured in. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. But we've also got magic and powerful lords and hero. We will be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. A spear might mean they live a little bit longer. But it only delays the inevitable demise. Ugh. Ugh. So tired. Been such a boring week at work. This is getting quieter and quieter. Fewer people are buying stuff because it's March and we heard all the announcement of, yay, in April we're going to have things um, open again. So people are saving up for when that happens now. People have heard the news so they think so they don't want to uh, be wasting their money. Which I can understand. I can understand wanting to uh, wait for all the shops to open again before spending all your money. But... I'm just going to complain about it anyway. <laughs> uh, actually, oh god, this lag. Okay, let's just uh, turn off some of these graphic settings right now. Let's turn them down, turn them down, turn them down. Uh, let's turn off proximity fading. We'll turn on proximity fading even. Uh, I'm fine to reduce frame rate. I'm not that bothered. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's taken away screen tearing. Oh, perfect. Okay, okay. Yeah. Blackguard. You sit back here because I want to make sure they don't get attacked. Dread Spears to the side. You're just to take the hits. Malakith to the front. In fact, all the way to the front. You're not faster than the Skaven, but they won't try and rush you. Uh, chariots. How much do I want to dick around with the AI? Quite a lot. I, I, I like messing with the AI. At first I didn't like to, but then I started playing Age of the Ring, and then um, I love messing around with the AI now. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. What is this nonsense? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I do not approve of this nonsense. I might have to actually bring some settings down. I will feed them to the cold one. Oh, very charming. Okay, those are Skaven slaves. I want to try and distract the Night Runners away from the front line. Or not. I don't know. I will have to distract. Uh, what are you? Plague or ruin? I always forget. You are plague. Okay. Uh, gonna put my dark shards into checkerboard formation just so the plague um, breath can't hurt them as much. That's right. Come to Malakith. Come to Papa. Children every now and again will. Oh god, this screen tear. Ugh. Ugh. What have I done to deserve this? Okay, let's turn a few settings down again. Turn a few more settings down. I'm still getting everything ready. Sorry, sorry. Just getting used to everything again. Uh, tree detail can go down. I don't care about trees. Water detail can go down. I don't care about water. No. Terrain detail, I don't care about terrain. Grass detail, I don't care about grass. Uh, unit detail, nah. Uh. Screen space reflected. Not reflected to reflective surfaces. Reflected to nothing. Water, don't care about reflections. Control the amount of blur distant objects receive the 
beyond the focus point on the camera. Don't care about depth of field. Hopefully this might speed things up a little bit. Already 10 minutes in, we're actually getting into a battle. Wow. This is going so much better. I don't think there's going to be a long stream. I'm already half dead. This is it's just... I'm just so dead right now. All right, some of these settings might not come into effect until after the, the battle's over. Right, 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 right. I forgot about reading that. But even then, look at the detail on this. So beautiful. I love this game. I really do. Oh, wow, the terrain going down has really made an effect. Uh. Oh, that's death of field. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's death of field. Okay, we're just gonna have to, just gonna have to endure through this battle because nothing's reset yet. But yeah, that's death of field. Some things that are far away are not as nice looking as things that are close to us. Uh, nice chill in there. Could throw down a fireball or two, but again, Skaven, it's a waste because you'll never hit anything that's worth actually doing it too. Uh, make sure you're all on guard mode. Has anyone actually been distracted by the cold ones? Nope. Well, damn. Let's hit these Skaven slaves. Otherwise, they're just going to take up our ammo. Make sure those Skaven slaves get beat down before they get into melee. Move the Dark Shards a bit more to the right. Let Malekith just tank this. Dark shards hit the. Oh, I thought those were clan rats. Those are clan rats. Hit the clan rats. Skaven slaves are just as terrible in melee as they are for um, the player. So we don't need to care about them. Clan rats, however, are a potential threat. Uh, oh, so much, so much tear. So much screen tear. Uh, disgusting. Uh, Blackguard. They're coming mostly to the left, so let's move you to the left. The right should be safe. There's a oh, there's a several clan rat units. Okay, Malakif, distract them for a while. Go on, girl. Show me who's boss. Dark shards, you shoot there. Dark shards, you shoot there. Um, you shoot there. Okay, you've distracted some of the Skaven. Let's bring them into the middle. Get rid of those slingers because they're a threat. Yep, pestilent breath. Oh, I cut my unit in half. I cut my unit in half. Ugh. Let's hit these. Free up my right side a bit. Victor's in our grasp already. Of course it is. This is me you're talking about. Oreo, salut. And all that. Okay, they're distracted. Blackguard, just form a line. Okay, the Dressbears are holding on well because they're only fighting Skaven Slaves and Clan Rats. But that won't last forever. We distracted a few Skaven Slaves away from the front line, but those Night Runners are hitting our Black Guard. They do have AP damage, I think, so let's stop that. Oh, so much screen tear. Oh my god, it's evil. Uh, Malekith can keep fighting. Let's try and keep the Dread Spears alive. I don't want to get a close victory. I want to get a decisive victory. You Dark Shards move forward. Make sure that Lord dies. So we can stop them um, breathing heavily on our units. Keep running away. Uh, don't waste any health for magic. Or do it on them. Give us some more wins of magic. Power of Darkness is a very interesting ability. At first I thought... Okay, so this is absolutely useless. But then I started then I started learning that magic is actually really good in this game. So, yeah, I use Power of Darkness whenever I can now. Best use it on a unit that has low numbers. Okay. Well done. Fall back. To a better position. Dress Spears, you're doing well. Malakip's doing really well. Can I chill win this? Not quite. I need to chill in that though. That's a big... That's a big clump. Actually, no. You come over to here. 
Oh, there's some night runners in there. Mm, not gonna get close enough in time. Let's hit that. Hit that fang. Oh, 150 kills. And that's the murderous prowess. We're causing fear. They're gonna start running away now. Big fireball, girl. Big fireball. Uh, run away. Run away from that screen set. 25 kills. Well done, Drafella. Good trait, and you're doing good work. Very nice. And that's the Armulus penalty. I think. Almost. Almost Armulus penalty. That Lord's going to die already anyway, so it doesn't matter if we actually kill him. Is that it? They done? They over? That's the problem with Skaven. There's always more that just want to keep fighting. That didn't hit much. No, it did okay. Ah, oh, there's the units there as well, the chariots. Okay, we... Uh, that went relatively well. That went relatively well, despite all the screen tearing and such. Decisive victory. I never get decisive victory on this battle. Oh, some streamer look. I like it. I like it. Oh, now then. Do we loot and occupy... We can't sack and then occupy because we don't have enough movement. Do we loot and occupy? I don't think we should. I think we should just occupy it and then... Yeah, because it's not like we're going to be um, able to sacrifice to Mathlan yet. And we might get a, a field battle or two. Before uh, we do get the slave market so we can then sacrifice and get ourselves a black heart. We need the black heart instantly. Uh, the the fact it cuts the upkeep of anyone anything that's in there by half when you recruit it is insane. As long as you have it. And then it goes down even further. It's not by much, granted, but it's close to having a 0% arm, uh, upkeep army. Luckily, with um, Dark Elves, once they get into the, the mid-late game, they just spiral out of control with their economy. They are the best with their uh, early game economy, I'd say. Late game economy, I'd say um, factions that actually get infinite income, which uh, I don't think the Dark Elves can. How many slaves? Oh, so delicious. But it's so little coin. I want to make sure I get both. I want to make sure I get best of both worlds, not just one. We want to make sure we farm a revolt here. But I don't want it to appear too soon. Because otherwise, if that happens, we won't be prepared for it. Okay, let's get Root Marcher so we can move a little bit further. And get her to do her Burning Head and Flame Storm and then Arcane Conduit. Good old AC. Turn on the AC. Uh, we want maximum slaves coming into the Iron Mountains. It's one of the best provinces for room. Um, Slave economy. The best um, province for slave economy, I believe, is uh, Ivres because it has a unique building that increases slave income. Um, then it's um, trying to remember. Um, Karen Carr has another good um, is another good region for uh, slaves. Ancient city of Quintex as well. Because of the extra um, just basic income. And it's a four province settlement. So that's all green territory. Unlike the Iron Mountains. But the Iron Mountains does have Nagaron. Which does give have more um, recruits. Which has more build slots. So you can not just have uh, income. But you can also have... Uh, uh, what's the word? Yeah, increase tax income by that much. You get the big port in uh, Nagaron as well, so that's 800 over the 400 of the, the minor settlement ports. Uh, also, Nagaron gives an extra 50% income for all buildings just on base. Then an extra bit from the slave market. Anyway, let's get let's get back to it. Can't reach Alt of Ultimate Darkness. But I can send her out 
to scout out here. So she now has burning head. So when I have her back. Do I want to be recruiting more dark shards? I can wait a turn before I need to recruit more dark shards. So I'm going to go into... Um, Go to ambush stands. Let's just get closer to getting the ambusher trait. So then we have a higher ambush success chance in the future. And it might actually incentivize them to move out and attack us at Harkaldra. Highly unlikely, but nah. If it gives us another one or two battles to fight, that's actually really good. I do like Skaven, but they're not my favourite faction. I, my... The favourite faction I like playing with is the Wood Elves, just because I've played them so much during Game 1. Then I would have to say it's the High Elves, because I've played with the High Elves a lot back in the day, um, back in my actual uh, Warhammer Fantasy tabletop days. Then it's the Lizardmen, because that's what I currently have in my Warhammer Fantasy, back in my Warhammer Fantasy days. But uh, they're not as fun on in this game as they are in uh, the actual game. Okay, so they've they're over here. Yeah, let's... Oh. They're not going to pop... They're not going to pop out, pop out and attack us. Let's take the auto of ultimate darkness. Oh, look at the lack of screen tearing. That's perfect. Now, this one we can auto-resolve because that would give us a better chance of saving the, um, the Reaper Bolt Throwers from the Menace Below, which they do have one of. And even one is annoying. So we're just going to reattach the Sorceress. Does she have anything? No. Let's take the settlement. Yeah, mostly damage to the melee infantry. That's fine. I might loot and occupy the last settlement of the province, just because um, just because I want the revolt to happen at the right time. The guiding eye, oh, that's a nice ability. Armor, pi armor piercing missile damage and extra ambush success chance. I think with that, you can actually get Malakith or any um, any lord up to 100% uh, ambush success chance because of the uh, fleeting shadow. So you've got fleeting shadow, which is 30% extra. You've got the uh, Guiding Eye, which for some reason... Oh, right. It's not a follow it's a Enchanted Item. That's an extra 10%. That's 40% extra. Then another 5% from the um, from the Ambusher trait. That puts you up to about 95% Ambush success chance. I don't think there's any other thing in his talent tree that improves that success chance. But still, 95% success chance on an Ambush is Pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. Uh, dreaded slave over one extra casualty with plen uh, casualties um, claimed after combat because that means we can uh, um, sell them off for more slaves. I do want the master, but I don't want to wait. And I don't want to have this for another two turns. I want to be making the dark shards and then selling that. New uh, selling the building. So we won't get the masters yet. It will sell this, sell this off um, in a couple turns. I want the slave pens for the sacrifice to Mathlan, and we're going to get the Sawyer, 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 so we can, uh, so because that reduces the construction cost for all buildings in the province, which is really good, and gives us a trade resource. Which, let's check, Hagenef. Still can't. Um, mm, defensive alliance is not good with her. What now? Actually, him being suprem being a um, suspicious might actually work for me. The fact he's also a, a, um, got the supremacy trait, he'll quickly take out the Dragon Isles. He might even push out into Eshin, at which point we will cancel the military alliance at turn eleven. He'll go to war with us. In a few turns, we can then the cancel the war, give him a lot of money to increase relations, and then just throw him into the faction. And Malice is actually a really strong legendary lord. Not as a uh, 
not as a um, as like a leader of an army, but just as a army killer. Give him, give him the sword of Cain, and he will just massacre everyone in his path. But we also need the potion, uh, the uh, potion for him because that works very well with him. But yeah, that's the plan with Hagrief. Council military alliance. Um, have him declare war on us. Cancel the war. Give him a buttload of money because we're Dark Elves and Dark Elves give money to everyone just to solve our problems. We throw our money at people to solve our problems. The High Elves don't do that as much because they have intrigue. They have their influence. But we Dark Elves, we just have money for days. We just throw it at everything. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Oh, I've always wanted to do that. I hope it wasn't that bad on your end. <laughs> if anyone actually watches. I don't mind. If no one watches on Twitch, that's fine. It just means I show, I make it up and uh, just throw it onto YouTube. Uh, I don't want to get rid of this building. Because it's already giving us 200, which is a lot of money for us right now. Just get in range. I don't want to take her out because there's a, 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 a possibility they might attack us. I can't ambush, so I'm just going to recruit the last of my dark shards. Actually, no, not the last of my dark shards. I've still got the dread spears. And those are my dread spears. Sell one, get the dark shards. Very low on money, but that's fine because we're going to um, rush Nagarond for tier 3. Because then we have the full construction cost reduction through the Sora, or whatever building it's called, the, the Mason Hall. Uh, yeah, you want to take Ragdo Gorge as soon as possible. And I think if I loot and occupy, I'll just cause a revolt and I'll lose half my slaves. So I might not actually do that. Yeah, I think I'll just take Rakdo Gorge normally. Um, uh, probably sell the Dread Spears and the um, Kowan Chariots once we're back at Nagarond. And then we'll get rid of this building. I don't want to level it up. It's too much money and the Master at full cost isn't worth it. With Marathi... Getting just a buttload of heroes is really good because you can level them up really quickly. They're almost zero upkeep. Yeah, as I said, I don't want to a defensive alliance with you, Hellebron. You could go to war with people I don't want to have to go to war with. Right now, staying with us, staying at war with as few people as possible is what's going to keep me in this. We just need to wait patiently a Malekith campaign is always going to be a slow grind at the beginning of the game it's not an easy bat it's not an easy um way to play it's not very uh, entertaining i guess as a way to say it but it's summer and yeah only 30 minutes in and actually almost taken all of nagarond I'm not used to this going so quickly. <laughs> I'm really not. I, honestly, I'm not joking about this either. I'm really not joking. I'm used to this taking so goddamn long. Now, by the time I'm back from work, I get to this far, and then it's 10 o'clock and I want to go to sleep. Oh. oh. Although I'm not far from there anymore right now. Oh. I hope you can't hear that. I feel disgusted. Uh, I can actually attack that a couple times if I don't attack it immediately. If I just attack the settlement, I don't want to auto-resolve this because that will kill off the um, accompanying army. I want to fight that a bit. They've got, still got only one menace below. Okay, let's do it. Blackguard, protect the um, Reaper Bolt throwers like last time. Kill the Lords. So we get extra um, stuff from the victory. And then just occupy the summon. Don't loot and occupy because then we'll cause a revolt. And we'll just lose all the slaves anyway. I want to just occupy. And then we'll worry about 
enslaving everyone. Malekith, the true master of the world. The true Phoenix King. And was only given that title at the end times. When the world was crashing down around them. I might get rid of those Blackguard. They're not that important. At, um, soon. They won't be that important very soon. Just having an F unit of Dark Shards is better than having uh, the Black Guard, honestly. Uh, it improves our balance of power, having this tier 4 unit, and it might actually increase our chances of um, actually getting Malice. So I might just keep it just because. Otherwise, it might take a long time before I can recruit or confederate Malice. And I don't want to be waiting too long for him. Ma Malekith is not a patient boy. And neither am I. Don't really need to check a board, but... I should do a, like, a, like a guide for, uh, for Legendary Campaign. Tips to tips to winning in Legendary Campaigns. Because my oh my, they're, they're, I have learnt a lot over my years of playing this game. I have learnt a lot. Make it... As nice a checkerboard as possible. Uh, don't let them fire at will because they might throw the clan rats down on them with the menace below. You can fire at will though, uh, bolt throwers. Don't want to go further back. I might want to go actually further back. Malakith, you can actually sit in the center because the guiding eye um, is a nice big AOE of AP damage. Uh, Dread Spears, just sit at the front. You're just you're, you're just there to look pretty before you, I, I disband you. I don't need you anymore. I just haven't disbanded you because, yeah. I should have thought that bit through. Probably should have disbanded you last turn. Fall back to there. Getting a little bit of lag, but it's not as bad as last time. That's the main thing. It is better than it was. And the best thing is, the game is actually running well altogether. So I'm happy. I'm happy because the game is running well. Okay, I'm not seeing the Dwellers Below yet. The dwellers Below, Menace Below. Uh, okay, there's a screen tear. There's a screen tearing. Uh, no. Yeah, going to have to fix that for the next video, I think. You'll have to fix that for the next video. Yeah, shoot down these night runners. They're just an annoying little pest. Just distract as many units as possible. Run into the Skaven slaves, just get their attention. And then run out again. Because we don't want to be staying in combat. There it is, where is it on? It's on the track speed. It's on the worst unit in the faction. The worst unit in the uh, in our army is was what got focused by their 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 best way of getting rid of, getting rid of our uh, bolt throwers. Oh, that is actually hilarious. I'm just gonna let them kill the dread spears. I don't care. Who cares about dread spears? Honestly, honestly, no one should care about dread spears. <laughs> You make them because they're because they're cheap. That's the only reason you'd ever you ever should have dread spears is because they're the only thing you can make, and you just want, don't want to spend any money. Otherwise, don't get dread spears. Go dark shards. As I said in the beginning, dark shards are your best unit for early, mid mid game, and late game because they've got AP damage. That's honestly the the main reason why. They got more than one. Hey, oi, 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 oi. Ah, black. Go away. Oh god. What else do we have to do now? Let's make this work. Texture quality. Go down. Shadow quality. Go down. VFX. Go down. Building detail. Go down. Fog. I don't like fog. Maybe take off V-Sync. Because that just messes things up. It honestly just messes around with things and it's not worth it. Okay. Are we ready? 
Are we going to run nice and neatly and clean? Is there a way I can chill win this without hitting my own unit? Kind of. Ah, oh, it's got him, Ralston. Nice. Nice. Just throw the Guiding Eye down because I can. Not because it's good, just because I can. Not because it's the right time, just because I can. Yeah, so what, what was I saying? Um, yeah, Dark Shards are good at all times because of their AP damage. In, even into the late game. Unlike High Elf Archers, which are only really good in the uh, early stages of the game, they can be good in the late game stages of the game. We've got Loth and Seaguard, so why go for um, Archers when you can go for Seaguard, which are also good in melee. And that just helps protect your interests into the late game. Dressbears, you're doing a great job. Time to give time for her to give her first burning head. It's always a bit uh, rough the first time, but uh, get used to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even funny. I'm just saying it because I can. Okay, you're dealing with those clan rats. That's good. Keeping up away those uh, escape. No, let's give us those things. Let's charge them. If it's night runners, I'd be like, nah. But no. Okay, these dark shards need protecting. So let's... Okay, you can fall back to here. You two can fall back to here. You black guard, move in now. If they don't come for Malekith, they're going to come for the Dark Shards. Make sure everyone's also on guard mode so they don't run away unexpectedly. Excellent, we've got most of the first army routing already. The second army is not far from our, us now. That's the Gracia getting gone. I don't want to have to deal with that. Oh no, my Dread Spears. Whatever will I do? Oh no! Oh no! So sad. So sad. How will I carry on without my dread spears? Oh! <laughs> How will I carry on? Okay, put the black guard back down here. Silly little Skaven. Nagarons for the Dark Elves. Put the Dress Spears over there. Just have them as annoyance for a little bit. Okay, Malekith, you're doing okay. Get those Cold One Chariots out of there. We've almost got Murder's Prowess kicking in. Wasting Pestilent Breath on Malekith. That's going to do zero damage to Malekith. He's just that OG. Burning head down on a nice line. Uh, no, bring her forward. Better if we actually get her into the fray. Uh, I think I'm going to stabilise uh, Nagaron and I'm going to call it an end of the stream. It's going to be a, it's a small stream today. Sorry, guys. But if anyone's actually watching and I just can't sh see it on my stream manager. I still haven't actually... I don't actually fully understand the stream manager yet. So if anyone is actually watching, I'm sorry I haven't I acknowledged you. I just It's not I haven't... Um, don't want have don't want to acknowledge you. Is I honestly just cannot tell with this if anyone's actually watching or not. But it looks like no one is. I guess that I just didn't put the right stream title. Nah. I'm still learning Twitch. That's technically my third week streaming, so uh, I'm still learning everything. Still learning the basics. So do pardon me if I don't get it right. Actually, wait. Is this my third week? Yeah, this is my third week streaming. Because my first week streaming, I've got to uh, make sure the videos were, were made into uh, make sure the streams were made into videos afterwards. But I've sort I've since then sorted that. But yeah, tomorrow I might do another hour or two of this campaign, and then we'll go, we'll switch over to uh, Age of the Ring. That's the plan. Same as last week. Play some Age of the Ring, and then move on to. Play Age of the Ring and then play another game, maybe, if I get bored. Yeah, or, or if I have the time for it. Last week was a bit small because I didn't have enough time for much because I was really busy helping my um, my dad with his uh, new computer. We've got it, we've got it, finally got it sorted. Although we did kind of leave it in smoke. Because it's going to 
leave that as it is because it was not a nice it was not a nice sight it was not a nice sight oh uh 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 uh, uh. But yeah, I'm just gonna throw um this video this um stream just as it is as a video onto YouTube. Hopefully, someone some uh, some people might enjoy it on there. I'm not, I don't, I know there's a small fo following of my subscribers that actually enjoys these campaigns. I'm I, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I would enjoy it, but I try I try my best. I'm definitely better doing Age of the Ring than I'm doing uh, Warhammer. I think when I actually get into like YouTube streaming and such, that would be better for me. Oh god, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, it's only actually been forty minutes. That's, that feels so insane to me. These low screens are so fast. Oh my god, I love it. I'm so used to for these taking ten minutes. I don't want to joke about that. Ten minutes. I'm used to these taking, and it's now taking less than a minute. Oh my god, I'm loving it. I'm actually loving it. I'm oh, I'm so pleased that it's actually working now. Ugh, these Cold One Chariots, they're costing 300. Yeah, it's getting gone. Get rid of the Cold Ones, get rid of the Dread Spears. And then we'll call... Then we'll get those the last few Dark Shards. Oh, that's some good... That's the, that's the slaves I need for this, my... Uh, I could just sack... I should have enough movement to uh, occupy it. And to be honest, it's going to be tier one anyway, so yeah. Oh, will I actually reach it though? Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Did I fuck up? No, please, no. No. Okay, I'm going to exploit the game. First, exploit, first exploit the game, the game folks. Carry me. Do I care I just exploited the game? No. Why? Because I've done it in Medieval 2 as well. <laughs> That's why. That's why I would exploit I would have exploited I would have used that kind of exploit in um in uh, what's the, what's the, what's his name? When it's something as small as that, oh you I, I don't I don't mind if it's something like that. Because I would have I would have just occupied it anyway, but I just wanted to avoid the uh... Oh no! <laughs> I didn't even stop the rebellion. It's still gonna happen. <laughs> no. Get rid of this building here because I've already got it in Ratdog Gorge. Oh my god! I didn't st even stop the revolt. Ah. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Why is is it? It's negative one because of the public order problems. If I sacrifice to Hecate, will that bring it down again? Uh, I don't know how the slave mechanic fully works. How is it negative one public order? Uh, I don't want to be waiting five more turns before I can uh, sacrifice to Mathlan, though. That's the problem. If I sacrifice to Hecate... Uh, Fine, let's try. Will this stop the revolt? It didn't. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a waste. Oh, now was it? Uh, let's increase the slave production quota. I just want to get my slaves up now. Uh, hold on to this. Get it upgraded. We're going to get... Um, what do I want in Nagarom now? Do I want to build the, uh, man the mansions? Yeah, I think I do. I want to get this sorceress building so I can get a second sorceress and a uh, a death hag. Get set and then um, no, keep the death hag in the army. Have the second sorceress. Uh, have her go down and meet the uh, Mama Marathi and then throw him down. Throw her down into uh, Lustria to try and find the uh, the Lord of Karankar before he dies. Good old um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Lockyer, Lockyer Felhart, yeah. 
He's the last of the five legendary lords we need to find. Yeah, I couldn't stop the revolt, unfortunately. If I didn't loot and occupy, like I said, if I didn't loot and, loot and occupy, I would have been fine. But I just had to do it. Just had to do it. If I, if I, oh, I should have looked. I could have put in one public order. I put, could have put in one extra public order and that would have stopped the revolt. Oh, you stupid Skaven. Yeah, it's fine. The revolt is honestly, honestly, not a threat whatsoever. The do a full Dark Shard army can actually take on most armies in the early... In fact, even though our strength ranking says we're like a strength rank 100, we're honestly strength rank 1. We are honestly strength rank 1. Because that is how powerful a Dark Shard army is. Despite the fact it has short range, Dark Shards are... The best units in our roster. And the balance of powers only look so bad because we have... Oh, God, I've got the hiccups now. Because our army here is weakened. But I want to get two battles out of this anyway, so... Oh, Jesus Christ. I've got the hiccups now. Okay, we'll beat the Rebellion, and then we'll call it an end to the stream. It's only going to be an hour stream, unfortunately. I wanted it to go a bit longer, but it's already half past eight. I'm... Um, so exhausted. I want to make sure I'm fully prepared for tomorrow's stream. I don't want to disappoint anyone. Also, we're a lot riding on that stream. I want to, I want to be building up a good following on Twitch. I want to actually see people put messages down in the chat and actually be able to respond to them. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, do make sure to uh, check out my Twitch um, account. So I do tend to stream every Friday evening and um, Saturday uh, afternoon or evening. Actually, no. Yeah, Saturday afternoon. Always always in the afternoon on Saturday. And try to stop just before I hit the evening. Although I might stream a little bit longer today. No, tomorrow even. I might stream a little bit longer tomorrow. Depends on my mood. If I can be bothered to keep streaming, I'll keep streaming. But if I can't, then I'll just stop. At one point, I'm not gonna for I'm not gonna force myself into doing long like like five or six hour streams until I've actually got a uh, a good following on Twitch. I don't want to push myself and then uh, be all annoyed when things don't go my way. Which <laughs> uh, I swear I don't do that. I swear I don't. Let's just speed this up. We're just waiting for the enemy to arrive now. This time. Just waiting for them to arrive. Uh, get off. Fire at Wilmo because otherwise you'll just fire when they dwell as menace below. I keep saying dwellers below. I'm too used to using the law of life. Because, yep, they're attacking us on our dread spears. And you know how much I care about my dread spears. You know how much I don't care about my dread spears. And there they go. Push Malik, they put Malekith down into the back over here so we can get the guiding eye onto our troops. They're almost upon us. Okay, let's fire at will. And guiding eye. And where they attack something from now. Okay. Let's get the black guard to protect them as well. That's hitting quite a few of our units. Ugh. Burning head. Chill win. The revolt, uh, it should come to an end soon. They've already lost all their army. It's just some Skaven slaves now and uh, the Lord. Just shoot down the Skaven slaves, make them run. And then the Lord will soon follow. Yep. Leadership falling. Oh, that was a big pestilent breath. But he's also going to die now. You die, die. Oh, you should have run where you had the chance. Now I'm going to actually make sure you die. Oh, actually, no, I won't. Oh, did that fireball hit? The s no, he's still alive. I see, I see a little tinge of red right here. He's still alive. But yeah, he deserved to die for that p uh, pestilent breath right there. He deserved to die for that pestilent breath. Didn't kill, actually kill anyone. But, oh. Nah, he, he, he deserved to die for that one there. 
But I think he might have gotten away. Now, there is a little exploit we can do with Dark Elves. And actually, you can also do it with Skaven. Oh, this first uh, message. Uh, hi, hi Iliavi. I'm going to learn to remember your name. Hey there. Why is it not showing that anyone's actually watching? That's so weird. Okay, let me actually check something. Let me actually check something. Oh! I heard that. I heard that. That was, uh, so... Iliavi is now hosting my stream in one viewer. Oh, thank you! Thanks, Iliavi. That's how I'm going to spell your name from now on. <laughs> oh... Oops, something's wrong. What's that? You're the, you're the only person here. So, uh... It's kind of having a one-way conversation with you. Uh, let's enslave them. Oh. Is that a bit of lag on your... On that your end over there? Huh. Hmm. I don't mind these orcs being here. Oh, never mind. Oh, there was a bit of lag. Okay, that might that might just be on uh, Twitch's end then. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix the lag on this. Uh, it's been a while. Still, um, just putting an SSD. Yeah, uh, I d just just recently installed an SSD about an hour ago. Just um, making sure everything's working. Okay, where are we? We've taken all of the Iron Mountains, and we have a rebellion on our hands. Oh no, did the army die? We did wait, wait, wait. Not in this time, please. So they're still alive. Where are they? Are they, uh... I am the king. Just up there. Okay, yeah, they're just up there. No, my are they actually out of range? No, good. Sorry, I'm not going to put your main into this battle. Yeah, the little bit of lag... Um, if, if you mean a little bit of lag here, it's because I'm playing on Legendary Difficulty. So, uh, it does. Ha there is a little bit of lag in the transition period between uh, loading screens. Because it's technically saving every time this happens. Because, yeah, it shows saving for a second there. That's just how uh, it works. Oh, how's BFME 2 stuff going? It's going great. Going great. Um, got plans to uh, stream Bath Miller to um, Age of the Ring again um, tomorrow. Normal time, uh, about one about one o'clock, probably. Okay, let's rush our way back over here. Uh, we can demolish that. Yeah, we can demolish it now. The next thing I'll be... Um, uh, disbanding will be my uh, black guard, and then we'll just get the death hag in the army. Kindle flame, more damage, more slaves, and servile die. I don't, I don't really like going down this because you already go dreaded slaver. So I'm going infamous raider. There's a few uh, little boosts in there, not just one thing. Uh, oh. What do I go for? We'll go for we'll go for the growth or do I go for the money? Oh, over there it's uh ten forty five. Is that ten forty five um, p.m. or a.m. Because it's ten it's uh eight it's eight forty five p.m. over here. I, I I'm still learning time zones. Sorry, I haven't actually um committed to learning the different time zones yet. I have to uh. Oh, PM. Okay, so, so so that's that's two hours. So for you, it would be uh, three o'clock. For you, it'd be three PM. If it's uh, ten forty-five over there for you now, it will be. Uh, it will be uh, three PM for you. Uh, is that it? Yeah, I need to wait another four turns before I can sacrifice to Mathfan. I don't have enough slaves. 
That's fine. The sacrifice to Akati could actually be a benefit for a, more of a benefit for us than our first forts because it is giving us more wins of magic. It is going to help us win this fight. Okay, save up surplus so I can upgrade Nagarond. The main province one of upgrading is Nagarond. The other three regions in this province are not essential. If they get besieged, they get besieged. That's fine. If they, um, oh, I grief you, bitch. Uh, you bitch. I can't wait till it's turn 11 and I can cancel the military alliance with you. Oh, that's cool. You've uh, got back into, uh, you start playing B for me too again. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've, I've been playing B, I've honestly been been playing BFME2 on just ever since I got the game, which was back here uh, when it first came out and I think oh it's going back to like 2000 and, I want to say 2006. I want to say 2006, but I might be wrong on that. I might, that might be BFME1 when that was first released. But yeah, I've been playing since BF, I've been playing the game since uh, BFME1 and uh, yeah, I've never wanted to not play it. It has been one of those games that I've played constantly. Oh, okay. What's in this army over here? What am I dealing? What am I, what am I working against here? Okay. First, it's a Beastmaster. That's probably one of the uh, excited about Reforged. Oh, I am ecstatic, waiting for Reforged. I cannot wait to see Reforged. Uh, that it. I honestly have um, seen a lot about it. I'm I'm a little bit um, cautious getting too much hype for it because it is on BFME 1. But the fight is on Epic might actually um, make it better than even just BFME 2 Vanilla. Which is a very hard thing to uh, beat in my opinion. Vanilla is... Um, yeah, a very fun game. But putting it into... Ooh, but yeah, I'm definitely enjoying the mods right now for BFME 2 more than the base game. Also, because I haven't actually gone back to any of the uh, pa the recent patches for uh, BFME 2, like uh, 1.09 and uh, 1.06 for BFME 1. Just haven't looked at them very much. Uh, is this army a problem? No, because we have the Lord of the Pale Queen. Yeah, the Lord of the Pale Queen. That will... Um, that's basically a net of Amintok. Uh, hope they had Angmar because it's my favourite faction because of the Black Numenor. Yeah. I think, though, what they'll do is potentially they will um, put that into um, into Mordor. Because technically the Black Numenorians don't, shouldn't exist in Angmar. They, they, they only exist back over in Mordor and in the... Um, in uh, the Harad territories, they don't. Uh, the Black Numenorians never really existed in Angmar. It was just a cool little feature in um, the expansion. And the Men of Khandoom that are in the Adain mod aren't actually Black Numenorians either. They are just um, Men of Rudawa with cool armor. Pretty, pretty much. That's how it work. Uh, that's how it rolls. Oh, <sighs> so tired. Yeah, um, but back on the Angmar thing, uh, I think they might do what Age of the Ring did with Angmar and put it into the um, Misty Mountain faction. D not make it a, a official faction, but make, but pretty much put all the little things from Angmar and throw them into um, the other factions. Just to give them a bit more flavour, really. That's my uh, main opinion on it. Although, although, I haven't seen what they've done in a while. No way. They could actually um, use the BFME 2 engine with Epic. Although, they, it is a BFME 1 mod, isn't it? Uh, the Black Numenoids with the Haradrim. The Black Numenoids are technically already in Age of the Ring. The Morgul Vanguard unit, the elite Morgul Vanguard of um, the Mordor Citadel, those are Black Numenorians. But yeah, I think the Her the Haradrim might have them as well because they they've already said they're not including the Easterlings 
in um, the Haradrim faction. They're going to stick with Mordor, but the Harad units are, are going to their own faction. I believe, I believe that is what they're going to do. It's similar to what they did with, um, in a way, to what they did with Dolgaldor, with Mordor, back before the Dolgaldor faction was actually a thing. They'll take it out of Mordor, add something new in to give them a bit more flavour. Read something that could be wrong. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not the Numenor, it's not uh, unknown that the Numenorians were in uh, Har Harad because that is actually where they were in the Second Age. Because um, if you look at, uh, I forget the name of the mod, but it's a Third Age Total War mod, a uh, sub mod, uh, where you play in the Second Age, and the Black Numenorians were all over the Haradrim at that time. Oh, this fight's going to be fun. Okay, got to. Put my game face on here. Oh, I'm gonna put my game face on. Uh, but yeah, going back to the Black Numenorians with Harad. Yes, I actually think they will. But the Black Numenorians are currently already in the game. And actually, think about it. No, they're not in Dogledore. No, no. I'm thinking the. Um, some of, the, some of the more elite units could be Black Numenorians. The Black Easterlings are obviously Easterlings. That's um, obvious. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there any other units that resemble the Black Numenorians in any way? Oh, the, there's the Mouth of Sauron, the Morgul Vanguard. I think those are the... Oh, oh Jesus Christ, that was fast. Uh, what I truly hope is that they create a custom hero Dark Numenorian. Ah, oh, you mean like... Um, with what they did in uh, uh, Edine mod, where they made the Black Numenorian slash um, uh, sorcerer a hero that, ha that has like a Well of Souls, um, a Morgul Blade, Coerce, or Descent. Actually, no, not, not Coerce, Descent. Basically, a, uh, a hybrid spellcaster that can uh, throw some nasty spells around and uh, really. Uh, destruct enemy formations without actually getting into combat. But if he could, if he were to get into combat, they'd do fine. Uh, they might add that in actually as a um, a sub hero to the um, like the Lords of Evil, the uh, Orcs and the Urukai, because uh, the Orcs and Urukai are um, they have. A lot of abilities like the Black Numenorians, and the Black Numenorians, they kind of turn into like the Corsairs, because that's kind of what happens. That's with the history with uh, Castamir, I think. They uh, after the after the reign of Castamir, that's when um, the Black Numenorians basically fell into uh, disrepute. Is a word of saying it, and the only times they ever really mentioned is with the uh, Mouth of Sauron. Do I, do I play Bannerlord? I do not play Bannerlord, no. I have seen... I've heard rumours of a mod for Bannerlord that lot being Lord of the Rings. When that comes out, I will consider it. But I've only played Mountain Blade Warband so far because of the TLD mod. Which I kind of have outgrown a bit. I've played it a bit too much and... Oh, God, it's getting cold in here. Ooh, it's getting a bit cold. Anyway, let's get to this. They're not going to attack me, are they? Have they got siege equipment? Okay, they do. I need to waste that ammunition. I need to waste the ammunition, have them come towards me, and then just uh, throw down some burning heads. Maybe even um, overcast, just to get the extra damage. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a solid no on the... Um, have I played Bannerlord? No, I have not. I've seen it. I've seen uh, clips of it. It does look like a very fun game. Uh, I do like playing uh, fast-paced games, like, obviously, Battle for Middle-Earth and Mountain Blade Warband. But um, would I do something like a stream on it? Maybe? I could do a stream on something like Bannerlord. If that's what you were, um, were wondering, if that was what you were leading to. 
Okay, let's get this ammunition wasted. Got to, got to focus now, unfortunately. Because this battle is not going to be an easy one. I did not get the sacrifice to Maflan, so I don't have the extra um, Black Arc abilities. Which is honestly one of my, the reasons why I love the Dark Elves so much. I love having just all these extra abilities on the bar here. I think this is one of the nicest additions they had to... Um, to, uh, to Warhammer 2 was adding in the extra... Uh, powers the passive powers if you were would so it makes it really fun to play as the faction okay halfway down the ammunition now then those dark riders are going to be on our ass as before i know it oh i think went to cap lock there uh we should probably move up a bit to get ready. The further I, cl um, I move up, the cl easier it is for those Dark Riders to go for those trees and then attack me without me noticing. So I've got to be aware of that as well. I do watch playthroughs play through of it. Oh, to be fair, I, I have, um, I have um, put interest into playing Bannerlord. It's just... Um, if it's not Lord of the Rings based, I feel like it won't do well on um, like YouTube. Because that's where most of my uh, YouTube content actually comes from. It's Lord of the Rings videos. Even my... Um, uh, not DAC. Um, TLD videos haven't done too well in the past. They've done fine to the point where I want to play the game. So, uh, but yeah. I, I, do know, I do believe they have got a mod in the works for uh, Lord of the Rings for Bannerlord. I haven't looked at it in months. They could have actually finished it by now, and I just haven't noticed. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably check that out um, before the end of the day, and then uh, if I know a time when it's going to come out, I might actually play it. So I'm I, I'm actually enjoy the Mountain Blade uh, games. They they are fun. It's a it's a very interesting way of playing the game. Difficult, never mind. <laughs> Although very difficult. Yeah. Now I have to remember who's in, who's the pale queen. Is it Erif Keel? I know Anna Frame is the goddess of goddess of the hunt. Um, Hecate is the goddess of sorcery. Sorcery. Cain's obviously murder. The pale queen is. Yeah, I want to say um, uh, Erif Keel. Spell like K K H I A L. Oh, look into it every week. Okay. Well, it'll come out one day. And when it does, I'll make sure to try and make content on it. Wait, where are we getting? I'm actually getting an Arcane Conduit effect here. Oh, the Dark Star Cloak. I completely forgot we had this. I completely forgot something like this existed. Improves re recharge rate. Doesn't give us more wins of magic, so it's not like an Arcane Conduit effect. But, eh, still not bad. Oh, I'm taking a few too many hits there on Malakir, but that's fine. He He's not going to be in combat for much longer. Uh, let's actually lord them in as well. Just need to do it. Any amount of damage will take the AI out of their comatose state, which they are currently in. So I'm just going to throw a Dreadwind. Was it Dreadwind? Chillwind, even. Throw a Chillwind down on them. And then... Run for your lives! Run, you fool. This way, you fools. Okay, they only bring for the Dark Riders. If I can get them into the rage of the Dark Shards, they will just pulverize them. I don't want to have to waste the law of the Pale Queen. I don't want to do that if it's absolutely necessary. To just hold back half of the army. And because I don't have the chariots anymore, we're not going to have extra... Um, power from that. I'm going to actually put uh, this back line of Dark Shards. They've got two units of Dark Rides over there, so I'm going to move these two over here and this one over here. Yeah, that's good. Just so I can deal with any uh, of the Dark Riders coming from our flanks. Come on. Come on. Come at me. Come at me. 
what? You won't do it. You're afraid. You, you chicken. You chicken. That's not a good chicken impression. But I'll, I'll live with it. <laughs> I'll live with that terrible decision of trying, of making a terrible chicken impression. Oh, this position, this position isn't good. This position is not good. Dark shards move forward a bit. Just a bit. Just a smidge. Move a smidge. Move a smidge forward. There's a shade. Okay. Keep up this army back. And around a burning head. Just down here. They're going to start coming this way. Oh. Have you seen the video on how to transform your Skyrim game into Lord of Rings? I do know there are uh, Skyrim mods um, that are Lord of Rings based. I personally have never played Skyrim. I know it might um, sound a bit... Uh, I don't know what the word would be. Surprising. But yeah, I'm not honestly a Skyrim person. It just takes a lot of commitment into a game like that. And I'm not the kind of person that goes full commitment into things. At least not yet. I'm too I'm too young to consider commitment. <laughs> uh, not not at all just trying to bat out the question or anything. <laughs> but yeah, I do know how you can um, there are there are a few uh, things for mods like that. Oh that's a good burning head. That's a good burning head right there. Straight through into the dark shards. Come on. Oreo, Oreo, Oreo. Beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. But she gives good, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm so childish. <laughs> I am so childish sometimes. <laughs> oh, I've got Lord of the Pale Queen back soon. Uh, oh, no, I'm following on guard mode. Oh, shoo. Nope, you sit right there. You sit right there. Oh, I turned my head for one second to look at the chat, and I'm like, oh, God, what the hell just happened? Is Ominous Penalties happened yet? Almost. There we go. <laughs> oh, I look away for one second. One second and I almost lost half my Dark Shards to Dark Riders. Oh. Oh, that could have been a massacre. That could have been a massacre. It's going to be a close victory, isn't it? Yep. We took too many casualties and we used too much of our balance of power, which was our ammunition because we're all archers. Honestly, the difference between decisive and close victory isn't that much. It's like five, six experience, uh, five, ten, twenty experience points. And when you get, when you're doing a battle every turn, it's not important. It really isn't. I don't mind sacrificing a little bit of experience just to say, yeah, I won. So what? Ugh. Also, it's legendary difficulty, so we're never gonna get a decisive victory unless we really earn it. But what's plan on plan on beginning with? Uh, with about 200 mods I stopped and then I, it ran fine took me about a week however a few days late my PC and I couldn't um, be bothered to install it again yeah I personally don't like using that many mods on a game that's why I play um, Warhammer on vanilla it's not like I don't mind mods obviously because Age of the Ring a dying mod but when it's like a, there's a small mod that adds like a small thing I feel like it's not really that necessary really it's just, it kind of feels like the more mods you have, the more likely your game's going to crash. And uh, that range true even with Age of the Ring. I've managed to avoid having any crashes with Age of the Ring or Edine for a very long time now. But that's mainly because I've got, I run 16 gig of RAM. Got uh, lots of storage space. Keep my computer clean all the time. It's always clean. I, I run a tight ship with this girl. She has served me well. She has served me well. Oh, vampires and fantasy worlds. Yeah, the vampire counts in this game are fun to play with. But they are very weak in the current situation as they are. 
all the rubric of Dark Dimensions. Oh, we don't need ammo success chance. I will take that. That is one of the best items you can get as the Dark Elves, the rubric of the Dark Dimensions. It's two free pit of shades, which are... It's probably the least useful Vortex spell, but when you can get it for free, I'm not going to say no. Now, if I attack that again, it's going to be gone forever, and I don't want that because they're good to just keep uh, sacking them or just using them as uh, slaves. Yeah, base 40% uh, chance of uh, ambush, plus 10, that'll be 50. 80, yeah, so 85 isn't bad, though. 85 still isn't bad. Oh, pardon me. Okay, uh, we can get Flamestorm. Let's get Flamestorm. Uh, hmm. One turn away from upgrading Nagaron, that's good. So we'll save up for that. We've now got enough slaves to get the sacrifice to Mathland done in two turns, which is very, very good. Uh, I'm going to go straight for the Black Hawk up there. Upgrades. I know the extra growth is good. I know growth is always good. Public order is good. But having black arcs, we're not we're not going to be rushing for uh, claiming like the whole world. We're not going to be able to do it. Unless there's any difficulty. Look at this current negative um, public order. It's going to take a long time before we can actually say, yeah, we can move out of this uh, region without having to deal with revolts. No way. We're gonna we're gonna need. Um, what we're we gonna need? We're gonna need uh, the Black Tower of Malakith. That public order upgrade is gonna be necessary. The Palace of the Dread Knights even uh, will be very good, and we'll probably also need the arena because we're gonna have to have the slave market. We're gonna have to have the masters to increase decrease slave decline rate, so the slaves will always be up. Yes. Have I played First Tier mod, mod, War mod? Yes, I played a lot of Third Age Total War. If you look on. Um, if, uh, if you go on to my YouTube channel, which should be linked in my Twitch account, you'll see um, I've done a Erebor campaign, a Lothlorien campaign, an Angmar campaign back before they became um, a human faction when they were sort of orc faction. And I have played... Uh, I've recently played an Erid Lewin campaign, which I gave up on halfway because I stopped playing Divide and Conquer because I got bored of it. Honestly, uh, Divide and Conquer is just... It's, I've lost my interest in that mod. It's it's not any it's not any actual uh, beef with the uh, mod developers or the actual people that watch the videos. It's just that I don't enjoy the mod anymore. Medi Medieval Two is just too old now for me to actually um, want to play it a lot. It's too old for me. It's too old. Although. Although, I have heard in the works of a Dagor Dagorath Third Age Total War. And if they were to make that, and if it runs really smoothly and nice, I will potentially go back to do that. But I don't see myself going back and doing any more Third Age Total War uh, content for a while. It's already been like five months since I last did the, any content on Third Age. So I'll probably never go back to it again. I'm pro I'm, I have no current plans of going back to Third Age Total War. If it's something that people want to see, I might go back to doing it. But the problem was, when I was doing it, no one was watching it. Few people were leaving any uh, comments. They were saying, oh, you should just start a new campaign and do this and this and this and this. But I'm currently doing this campaign and I'm not enjoying it because it's nowhere near as fun as playing Warhammer. Warhammer is currently the best Total War game, in my opinion. And I think when Total Warhammer 3 comes out, everyone will love that more than Warhammer 2. That's, that's, that's at least the hope. I've been waiting for... Since Total Warhammer 1 came out, to play with demons. Since I saw Sartharial in the trailer, I've wanted to play Demons of Chaos. Not Warriors of Chaos. That was, that was my uncle's jam back in the day in uh, Tabletop Games. I play Demons of Chaos, and I have waited so long to see them. Oh, I love it. So yeah, the current uh, hype is on, uh, definitely on, see, um, what's the word? Um, Warhammer 3. I have no intention of going into any other um, Total War games in the franchise. I know there's, um, 
the there's a there's a, another uh, Lord of the Rings modded uh, 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 Total War game. Um, I think it's Attila. I have got that um, installed and have looked at it. I've tried it, and personally, I don't enjoy it. Currently, only because there's not no campaign. I think that's the main reason I have enjoyed Dak in the first place was the campaign, but then they made it too difficult and it was unenjoyable. But and they kind of actually, uh, honestly, Dak has spoiled me for Lord of the Rings Total War games because the unit quality, the game quality. The only problem is the actual, con the actual um, playing of the game took too long. It just took too long to play, and honestly. It's not, again, it's nowhere near as fun as playing uh, Warhammer. I just enjoy Warhammer more than uh, Dak. Also, because I, I like um, uh, just leveling up my lords and heroes, giving them all these awesome spells. You don't really get that with, um, you don't you don't, you don't really get that with uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you get the Army of the Dead if you play with Aragorn. But you've also got you you kind of got a crippling economy, crippling population. You have to constantly be on the attack, even though your faction is not known for being offensive, especially against Angmar, which is incredibly powerful. Last time I played. Anyway, I digress. No point talking about a mod that I'm not interested in playing, or really going back to, because it's just gonna end up me talking about it all night. And oh, I feel my throat already dying. Yeah, there is, and there, they have mentioned with the Attila mod for Lord of the Rings, they will make the campaign. It it's just actually making the map for the mod. The map is the main problem with they've got got with that mod. They doesn't have any, um, don't actually have the ability to make the map. Once they do though, once they do, I can't wait until they do. I want to I want to see that mod with the campaign map. But right now it's just a. Uh, it's just a free play game where you just um, play against not not you're just playing against AI in battles or against other players in battles and it's I don't I don't play Total War games for the battles I play them for the campaign just building a massive empire and just conquering the world and I find in Warhammer in particular that is the most difficult it has ever been because it oh my holy crap. I didn't honestly when I first played this game, I didn't know how big the Warhammer universe was. I didn't know about Cafe Ind, um, uh Oh, thanks, um, Ilavi. Thanks for. Uh, it's good. Good to know that uh, people like listening <laughs> to my random rants. I guess I could call it my random rant hour. Yeah, honestly, it's, it, there's nothing wrong with Divide and Conquer. I've been pl I've played it since um, before version one of Dak, and that is a good few years ago now. That 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 this this is not no small amount of time I've not been playing this mod. Uh, I've been playing that mod. I've known it for a very long time. It's just I've p played it perhaps a bit too much, and. The game is very old and buggy, and it's just as I said as I said earlier, having lots of mods doesn't help the game's performance. It actually weakens it. So having um, having Third Age and then Divine Conquer on top of that did make the game very um, unresponsive at times. Ugh. The the number of Dolamroth campaigns I started and ended just because the game kept crashing. You will not believe it was. It's actually over twenty. <laughs> oh, okay. Back to this. Back to this. Just one. Got the shield of Tolos. Nice. That's a good missile resistance item. Yeah, I was thinking of getting um, a drink, but uh, I didn't plan to make this um, to have this stream go on for very long. I just wanted to. Do it because it's Friday. Friday evening. Very tired. Ugh. Ugh. I'm honestly ready for bed. <laughs> oh, which I'm right next to. Honestly, just ready for bed. Uh. I'll keep going a little bit longer. 
I might even take Hagrief away from uh, Clarkerond. But for that, I want to make sure I take out this Rebellion first. Anyway, Nagaron can now level up. How far am I from getting Malakith's um, efforts redoubled? He needs Tyrant. So, okay, I'm a few levels away. I probably won't get efforts redoubled before I attack Hagrief. Uh, it's tier 3. I could wait till they upgraded to tier 4 to take the settlements. That would not be a bad idea. Because then I get it at tier 3, which when I, then I can upgrade it with walls. So then it's safe. Uh, Thousand Slaves. Going to cut half of them down next turn for Blackhawk. Okay, upgrade Nagarond. That's as cheap as we're going to get it right now. Because we've got the Marble Quarry. I could... Um, dismantle the slave pens and just get the uh, the growth, the money building up here, or even the public order. But, um, no, I don't want public order until we have um, no longer need of farming revolts, which will be a about another twenty turns away. Uh, keep going, ambush stance. Get the ambusher trait. Uh. What next? What next? Sacrifice to a is about to run out. So I'm going to lose the extra uh, the extra Wizard Magic. Oh, we finally got trade. Oh, you took... My girl. You're my girl, Hellebron. You're going you're gonna to be the one I confederate last because you're that good. Hellebron is such a good ally to Malekith. She's always an underdog, well, almost always an underdog. So she always has high relations with Dark Elves. I'm more fan of the 40k stuff when it comes to, uh, well, to be honest. To be fair, a lot of people do prefer 40k to Warhammer. I imagine that mainly have um, more people kind of turn to 40k over fantasy when uh, the end times fully finished and then Age of Sigmar came out. I I understand completely. Uh, my 40k knowledge is limited at best. Is the best way to say it. I know next to nothing about 40k. I've seen people play the tabletop game. Never played it myself. I know next to nothing about the lore of um, behind 40k. Other than uh, Tyranid's rule. The Empire's ruled by a dead god. And... Well, actually, not a dead god. A dead emperor. And... Uh, tower robots. And... Uh, yeah. That's about as much as I know about... Uh, oh, and Demons of Chaos are around. Oh, they just... Okay, get rid of you then. If you're going to just completely ignore Malekith, then you deserve to just die. But I'm going to get two battles out of you because I won the experience. Let's go. If Yeah, we'll take uh, Hagrief and then we'll call it a day. So we've got at least another, I'd say, 20 minutes of content before I call it a day. Oh, yeah. I've, um, about that. Uh, I don't um, honestly mind where I learn it from. I, I typically learn my, my information from uh, just reading the actual army books, the old, the, uh, old codexes. That's where I get most of my lore from. I am a huge bookworm. Oh, uh, the amount. In fact, I've probably read all of the. Um, I've read the End Times at least twice. The actual End Times books. Uh, I've read them twice, all five books. They are all. They are such page turners. Manfred's the biggest dick because he decides to kill. Tech, uh, Oh, I, actually, no, I won't. I won't. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. In case you haven't, in case you haven't read the end times, I won't spoil it. But yeah, Manfred, if you didn't already know, is the biggest dick. Not has the biggest dick. He is the biggest dick. Uh, yeah, we've now got this over the AP damage. Okay, don't fire at will. 
I just want to kill off the um, either the army or the lord. I can't kill both because then that would um, leave me with one less battle. And experience is a very good thing. So yeah, I'm going to try and kill off the army here. How far away? Come on. Yeah, there's an, oh yeah, there's another exploit you can do with um, with magic. That's very fun. I'm not going to do it yet. I might do it in a future um, stream. But I have no intention of showing off here. Because uh, it's not exactly a necessary exploit. It's basically... Uh, you can get infinite winds of magic. By... Um, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can get infinite winds of magic. By using a, a little bug in the game. But it requires a mage who has a, uh, a magic missile attack that takes time to uh, fire. It's, it's not exactly easy to accomplish. It's not like you can just, um, oh, I click this A, B, C, D, E. I now have infinite magic. It's you, ha you, have to, um, you have to do it like this, otherwise you can't do it. It's not, it's not, it's not very easy to learn. But yeah, it is, <laughs> it is a exploit and a half. Yeah, to, to be honest, Alavi, I don't think <laughs> I don't think anyone else is watching right now. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, end times. Manfred kills someone who's very, very important. That person who's very, very important. Um, when he dies, uh, then basically caused chaos to gobble up the old world, and then. Yeah, every, everything died, and that's what Age, that's why Age of Sigma is um, kind of a baller, kind of a uh, a blue baller, because it's like we're expecting all this end time stuff to be amazing. It's going to be an amazing ending, but instead they just killed everyone off, so they could go straight to, end, to the Age of Sigma. They had Age of Sigma in the works from the very beginning. They did. They they were ready for Age of Sigma. We weren't ready, but they were ready to go straight to it. Uh, again, don't want to kill the Lord, because if I kill the Lord, there's a high chance I don't get another battle out of this. I just want to rout the army. So maybe do a bit of damage to her. As long as she's alive, the army will survive another turn. You okay over there, Chilmaine? You gonna manage? I'm gonna pet shades. So yeah, Manfred, he was... Um, it's not like he chose to do it uh, under his own free will. He was kind of under the influence of Chaos because they were literally in a place where Chaos was building in... was basically coming out into the real world. And you know what happened with the, with the Polar Gates? That kind of... Um... ha <laughs> Talking about the big bad guys, someone su who is somehow super powerful, although no one likes him. Yeah, Manfred, no one likes Manfred. But yeah, Manfred, being who he is, he, did, he didn't want to be under anyone's control. So he decided to stabby stab and then just helped cause the end of the world. To be fair, it wasn't like they, could actually, they were actually going to stop the end times. They were kind of a bit too late to stop it. They were a bit too late. But yeah, they almost managed. It, it Manfred just um, kicked them over just kicked them over the edge. They were not gonna they weren't gonna do it. Although, if you play the scenario out in the tabletop game, because it is a uh, second book to the original actual reading book, which is a um, a play by play of each battle. If you play through the battle, there is a chance you can actually stop the end times. Yeah, there's like no one left alive. Tyrion and Ilario literally have to um, uh, sire a hundred babies to bring back the High Elves. Um, Teclis might have to have, a, have his way with a couple of them, you know. <laughs> uh, Nagash would have a literal endless supply of undead. So he would have his uh, all Tormentor sword. Nah. That's a good weapon. 
Yeah, N Nag Nagash would have an endless army of undead, which would uh, make him a very happy boy. Um, what else? What else? Oh, let's get this black hawk first. Yeah, best thing about black hawks is. Uh, not their actual fleet master ability, but in the Black Heart themselves. This used to not be a thing. It used to be they just existed. But now they have 50% minus upkeep for all units. And they actually level up at a decent rate. And they've actually got good buildings too. You can make the Sorceress building. You can get the uh, Death Heart. You, you can make all your heroes from a Black Heart. You can make almost all of your units, I think. No, wait, can you get all of them? Dark shards? Shades? Uh, beasts? Am I missing anything? Black Arc says, yeah. Shades, yeah. Witch Elves. Yeah, you can make all units from uh, bla uh, Black Arcs. Honestly, you, uh, once you get a Black Arc, you don't need... Oh, thoughts on the War Mattel free trailer? Loved it. Watched it at least 50 times. And that was just in the first... <laughs> that was just in the first day I watched it about 50 times. I loved it that much. I loved it that much. Seeing Demons of Chaos, seeing Kislev, Bears, um, Kathrina, everything. And the Bloodthirster, who I think is actually neither Scarbrand or Cabanda. Because technically, Cabanda doesn't have a whip. He has a whip hammer. He has an actual... Yeah, his, if you see his model, his whip isn't actually a whip. It's a um, it's a whip with a giant stone on the end, which he uses to crush people, which is what he used to nearly kill Deathwing, nearly kill Tyrion a couple hundred times, um, hit Malekith... Uh, hit, um, not Malekith, but hit um, Seraphon around the head with, I'm fairly certain. Um... Hit Nagash with. He hit Nagash with his whip hammer. But yeah, I think that's just an ordinary Bloodthirster. I don't think that's Cabanda or um, uh, Scarbrand. I think that is just a ordinary... Um, I don't know what they're going to do with the... Uh, the Greater Demons. I honestly think... Oh, never, never forget Cyberpunk. Uh, Cyberpunk was cool. I'll admit, I'll admit that, that was it was cool. It had its moments, but um, I'm I'm not a techno kind of person. That's why I never really got into 40k. I'm just not a person that enjoys um, technology so much. Saying as I am, as I've done countless things with technology, and we've got limited time before we can take Nagarond. But yeah, um, back on uh, what's what's his face. Um, Oh, I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> uh, I want motivation for fear as well. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I can put one more point in. Let's put a point into Inspiring Presence. Um, but yeah, going back to uh, the Warhammer 3 trailer. Thinking about what they're going to do with um, the Greater Demons. I don't think the Greater Demons will be Legendary Lords. I think they will be um, heroes, or maybe even legendary heroes, because um, I've I've played with against them in uh, combat in um, in games. I know obviously they're like Sarfarel, so uh, maybe there'll be one or two legendary lords that are um, uh, the the uh, greater demons. But I don't think ordinary lords will be greater demons. I think it'll be heroes. There'll be the greater demons, there'll be heralds. I think heralds will be lords. Because unlike the greater demons, heralds have several different mounts, which um, lords are also known for having. Maybe even... Now, this, this, is, this, is, this is me going all in uh, Warhammer nerd lore here. But the demon princes... Demon princes are um, made from Chaos Lords who have shown their ultimate devotion to the Chaos Gods. So maybe they'll have Chaos Lords 
that will eventually become Demon Princes. That is what I think they'll do. I think they're going to make lords that can transform into other beings. Have I ever played Evil Genius? I've... I think I've heard of that game before, but I've never played it. I do... There are, there are a lot of games I've um, been told, have you ever played this or that, and I've just never actually looked at. But yeah, Evil Genius. Um, <laughs> definitely could sound like something I would be um, very uh, enticed into. Anyway, that's fine. Yeah, ne never played Evil Genius. Never played Evil Genius. Uh, did I finish talking about... Um, did I ever actually finish talking about uh, the... Oh. Oh, bugger. I forgot to ask for non-aggression with these guys. It's too late now. Damn it. Oh, damn, 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 damn. I don't want to have to go to war with the Mung. I don't. I don't want this territory. I want Hog and Neff to have this t this territory. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get defensive alliance with... Um, Hog enough now, Very well. because I feel like at this point, no matter who she's going to fight, I'll end up fighting as well, and that's going to be most of the Drew key. In fact, it's turn eleven. Uh, the seal coming out for oh, evil genius too. Sounds fun. I will murder anyway. Really? Well, screw you. I don't like you anymore. But I do want to. I do want you to confederate with me. So c consider um, coming back to the faction soon. <laughs> but I don't want a military alliance with you. You 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 put me into one war already, and I'm already afraid of where they are. I don't know where they are. Uh, they've moved out from the Obsidian Peaks. They are not in Hagrif. They are not in the Iron Mountain. So they must be in the Red Desert. Can I see the plane of spiders? No, I cannot. Oh no, they're in the Doom Glade. Nagriff's already taken Hag Hall. Oh my god. Conquer now, non aggression later. <laughs> Sounds like Icket Claw. Yes, yes. Very scathing of you. Uh, I don't want to upgrade either of these settlements. I'm actually just tempted to say, screw it, I'm not going to upgrade any of these settlements. They're just going to fall if I upgrade them because I'm going to have to deal with the Mung. I'm just going to upgrade Nagarond. I've got four, I've got going full growth, basically. We can actually get rid of this now. We're making decent money where I can get rid of this and get the growth building there as well. Yep, yeah. <laughs> screw you as a compliment for a Dark Elf. Yeah. Well, actually, it depends on who the Dark Elf is. If it's Malekith, you'll very quickly turn to Cinder's. If it's Marathi, she'll turn you into one of her pets. Malice will um, throw Zarkan at your face. Um, Lock here will probably pat you on the head. <laughs> and, um... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They won't do that. They'll do something else instead. I remember reading in um, the End Times, um, pissing off a Dark Elf, won't you you won't hate they won't hate you they won't hate you they will throw you into the front lines they'll give you a complimentary complimentary status upgrade to a place where you're going to die <laughs> that's what they'll do they are all about playing the funny games they they they're, they're the kind of tricksy mixed between skaven and high elves they're skaven in fancy high elf suits that's what they are they're skaven in high elf suits which is why they also have the loyalty mechanic. <laughs> oh, they've moved out of Hagrief. Easy victory. Easy taking of Hagrief. Oh, fun times are ahead. Fun times ahead. Let's take the settlement for our own. Must spread our own corruption. It's it's a uh, goodbye, Admiral Karl Gukun. I'm gonna change that name because I don't like that name. Uh, Admiral, what's it? Uh, Azrabel Vect. 
What should I rename this guy to? Cal Guggen. Uh, Admiral. You know what? Shadow Steel. Because I can't think of a better name. No. There's no public order boot bonuses coming in through here. They have no... So they, they're still around in Hagrid province. They're still here. Our leader of the Dark Eldar in 40k. Okay. Did I say his name right? Azkabel Vecht? Or is it Vesht? Vesht sounds more right, more correct. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how Necrons operate. Uh, I want to get him the battle as well so he gets some experience because Blackhawks also, unlike before, I, I say before, this is going back way before the uh, Hag Grief update. So this is going back about a year now, a year and a half since uh, this has been updated. But yeah, we can get, make this guy immortal, have him get a... Don't want his own combat skills increased. I want to uh, bob the dark elf. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Admiral... Admiral Bob, the Dark Elf. <laughs> You've convinced me. Admiral Bob, the Dark Elf. Okay. You're at war with the Broken Chains. Ooh, do I, get, do I make some money from this? I think I do. I want to do that, and I want 500, 600. Okay, I will... No, no non-aggression. I will go to war with Clark Arond. And I want five... G... 500 Gs. Okay, I'll sell for... I'll sell for 300. How about that? I will sell for 300. On their Dark Elves are the Dark Elves. Yeah, that sounds about right. I know about the, I know about the Eldar and the Dark Eldar. I always thought those were just elves and dark elves. So Necrons are just dark elves that are dead. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, this building's good, but not essential. So just go growth. Go growth. Get Nagaron to tier four. Do I want this building? The Towers of the Black Guard. They only give benefits to the Black Guard. And I don't ever want to recruit Blackguard ever again. So, no, that building's useless. Only because it's a landmark building doesn't mean it's necessary. Filthy Xenons. So, we want... Uh, let's, let's, just, let's just map out what we're going to do with Nagarond. We've got the ports. We will get rid of that residence eventually. So, we'll potentially... So, we're going to have the artisan house take that place. We'll keep the marble quarry because that is making us basement income as well. We're going to keep the slave pens. We're going to have probably have the torture posts just to keep public order high. So that'll be here. Then we'll have the sorceress building. We'll have the um, temple of Cain building. We'll have the dark mance and the. Black Tower of Malekith. If Bob Record is fine, I might not even need the arena, and I can take... In fact, Sycophantic Schema gives plus two public order, right? I want to say yes. Oh, they're arch enemies. Okay, I'm just slowly learning the Warhammer 40k lore. <laughs> slowly but surely, I'll, I'll learn the Warhammer 40k lore. Anyway, back to this. Let's besiege Hagrief. Oh, no, it's not a nice auto resolve. If I kept the chariots and the dread spears, it would have been a fine auto resolve. I don't really care. Auto resolve would have just meant I would take more damage in the. Oh, I found him. I found him. Okay. okay if I have him actually besiege the settlement as well, he'll join in. If I auto resolve this, half of these are going to go down below. 30, 40, 50 percent, and then they won't get any replenishment because I won't be taking the settlement with him. So, maintain the blockade. Okay, the odds are the same. The odds are the same, but if I loot and occupy, I will make 
back. Some of the No, I'll fight it. I'll fight it. I'll fight it. Last battle of the day. I'll I'll fight it. I just want I want to loot and occupy uh, Hagreif. Get uh, the settlement built up a little. Get the growth. Or maybe just go full income. It it Hagreif is not a bad place to uh, start going and just. Uh, yeah, questionable results. Yeah, yeah, it's the best way of calling it. Questionable results. I prefer to only auto resolve in an, a situation where I know I'm going to get all my all my replenishment back. In this situation, there's an enemy army right on my doorstep. We have no bonus replenishment, so unless we get a big replenishment boost from loot and occupying, it's not worth it. I'm going to loot and occupy because slaves, but, uh, okay. Just going to camp in the corner. Thank Legend of Turtle War for this uh, genius. He's taught me well, even though he doesn't know it. He has taught me well. Uh, get you all off fire at will and guard mode. Move you up. Yeah, some of that. Actually, that's core cool formation. And yeah, destroy the tower. Gonna have him do some raining down on them. In fact, move the black guard just behind the river bolt throws. We're actually out of range. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, just because. Um, Probably no one's going to watch this. Let me show you the exploit. Let me show you the um, uh, instant call down reduction and. Um, oh, God damn it, they're attacking me. I am not dealing with you. Go away. Kinslaying indeed. So go back to your holes, fellow Druki. This is not a matter of yours. See, so yeah, you move your sorcerer, you move your wizard away from range. So fireball is currently at red range. Okay, so we'll keep her a little bit further forward. So we keep her just out of. Um, so what, so what you do is to get to make this first occur, you need to um, as this spell is casting from out of range, you need to oh too slow, too slow, too slow. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I was too slow. But it's okay. We have plenty of winds and magic. We can do it again. Throw pit shades up here just to just just throw some shade on them. But yeah, let's try that again. Make sure I'm out of range as I'm casting the spell. Make sure at least someone's up there as well when I'm casting. So, okay. Once she stops moving, the second it goes... Oh, they went off the wall. God damn it. Come on. Come on. Oh. I can't see that little emote. What is it? What is that emote? Is that a... I see a, I see a face with cloaked white face, red eyes. Oh. Come on, get up here. I'm not gonna hurt you. Much. You however can suffer, because you're not You're doing what I would do. I'm about to do. And now I destroy a unit of dark shots. <laughs> okay. Try again. Just out of range. As she goes into range and is about to cast, cancel the spell. Stage one is now complete. Now we need to get into range to cast one of our other spells like Flamestorm. But we need to cast it just out of range again. But this time, instead of letting the spell um, fade away by moving her, we let her, go into, we let her move into position like before. And this time we let her cast. Setting 
An ultra fella, uh, chill main. She must be very chilly in that dress. Poor thing. At least the Asa mages have some uh, clothing down there. But you know. Dark, uh, the elves are vain beings. So it makes sense if they want to uh, show a bit of skin. As long as it's tasteful, which to some eyes it might be. Anyway, so we cast a spell just out of range. Now, if you if you uh, move away from this, it will cancel it. So you have to wait for the full time. And look at that. The spell is cast. It's off cooldown and the winds of magic are back. We just broke the game, baby! And the only, and this way to um, basically stop this exploit from working is to cast a spell in range. That is how you break the exploit. But look at that flame storm just cutting through this poor fool. No, you haven't. You've killed nothing. Malakith, on the other hand, is taking a. Oh. Okay. 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 Our black arcs are majestic. That's the end of those dark shards. <laughs> Evil women in fancy of higher body temperatures. I mean, she, she can cast fire, so uh, she, 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 be, she technically has a permanent um, a heater just down in her box. Her little area. Anyway, let's, let's finish these falls. It's only meant to be a quick victory anyway. Nothing to it. Moving forward, just let him shoot things. His ammunition isn't gonna isn't anything special, it's just a crossbow. So yeah, for anyone watching, that is how you exploit the game with infinite magic. It only works with winds with the winds of magic that have a magic missile. So the Law of Fire, because of Fireball, the Law of Beasts, Amber Spear, although Law of Beasts is terrible, don't ever use it for any reason. Um, doesn't work with the Law of Life, Heavens, um, it doesn't work with the Law of Light, so you could have infinite net of Amintok. However, watch out because if you accident, because um, obviously net of Amintok takes a long time to cast, and also the overcast, you can actually kill yourself through miscasting. Um... What else? Death Magic doesn't have a magic missile. Neither does the Law of Shadows. You can do it with both of the green skin wi wizards. The big one and the little one. So you can infinite uh, Foot of Gork or um, Curse of the Bad Moon. Me must be in the sun wall. A lion on the whale's flag. Is that right? Is that a... Looks like the Liverpool Lion on a Wales flag. Sorry, my, I'm looking at all this from on my phone. It's very small. I don't have a, I don't have a dual monitor uh, computer. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I don't have a dual monitor computer. Not yet, anyway. One day. One day soon, I'll have a dual, dual monitor computer. But it is not this day. This day, we cheese. <laughs> Bring the fire. Yeah. I don't mind exploiting on a little, little battle like this where it's obvious we're going to win. If it's a battle like um, just her on her own against uh, four armies protecting a settlement, that is something I would not do. Just because it would take A, too much time to complete, and two, honestly... If I needed that much cheese just to win a battle, I honestly am not doing it right. Skaven, I'd probably do that with because um, two hour difference. I don't know geography. <laughs> oh, last time I did geography was about seven years ago. I I don't remember a thing. Two hour 
time zone difference. Um, is it somewhere in America? Can I get a hint? <laughs> Can I get a hint? Is it somewhere in America? Show me somewhere in America. Or is it, um, well, I, I, I live in the UK. Is it to the west or to the east? Oh, you're right, you can. View it up, okay. I'm sorry, my, I'm terrible with these today. Is it's definitely west, isn't it? It's definitely in the west somewhere. Definitely west of the UK. Oh, Eastern Europe. <laughs> oh, I am not good at guessing. <laughs> I am not good at guessing these kind of things. Um, uh, Eastern Europe. I honestly, I honestly don't know anywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm terrible with geography. It's never been one of my best subjects. The only thing I remember about geography is cloud formations. <laughs> the only... Wow, we actually just won from that. I'll t <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Zero effort victory right there. Because we used zero balance of power because we had all our wins on magic because I cheesed the game. That is how you do it. Oh. Oh, you stream yourself? Um, yeah, of course I'll have a... I'll, uh, take a look at one of your streams one day. When I get the chance. Oh. It's East Europe, eh? Hmm. How's it like over there? I only really know the uh, UK... Yeah, I just know England. We get clouds, rain, some more clouds. Sometimes some sun. Sometimes a lot of sun. But uh, we don't really get much else. <laughs> don't really get much else over here. We get rain, clouds, sun sometimes. But we don't really get much else. We sometimes get snow. We got a good bit of snow this year. I'll admit, we got a good bit of snow. Well, technically last year, because it was in the... No, it was this year. Yeah, we got a good bit of snow this year. Start, start of the year. Hit your hands somewhere. Uh, I might have. I honestly don't... I'm, I'm, yeah, it might have just been uh, on here. Sometimes it clashes with the uh, metal on the bedside, so it kind of uh, makes a ringing sound. Or in my, oh, my table as well could have been on there. Yeah, I, hit, I probably probably, I probably just hit me hit my hand from there. Okay, yep, definitely looting and occupying. That's some good money and a few more slaves. Ugh. I want, I, I, I kind of want to say I'll call it end of the stream here. But I kind of want to keep going. I just want to keep going. <laughs> I really want to carry on. You know what? I'll do the circulate of iron battle. Then I'll call it a day. That is a promise. I'll do the circle of iron battle and then I'll call it a day. Because otherwise I'm going to be up all day and uh, I'm going to have no sleep. It's already 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm normally asleep by now, ready for work. Or getting ready for work. Um, that army they had was at half... Oh, it was a half banner army. Mm. Do I stand outside the settlement to go them to attack me? I think I do. Sweet. Also, it makes Hagrid closer to a revolt, and that's why I want as well. Shades. The problem with Shades and a uh, Malekith campaign is that Dark Shards in Malekith's army are half the price that they would normally be. So I don't want to make Shades in Malekith's army. I want to keep them as Dark Shards, at least for a large portion of the game. Yeah, just one, just one more turn. Just one more turn. A, sl a steady slope that slowly turns into 100. 
Oh, I'm just so, just so happy that I'm actually able to play this game and it's not actually just lagging out. That's the main thing right now. I'm just loving playing this game. That's what I should do. Take off the slave quota. Turn it off. This will double the growth I'm getting here, so I will get this. I will keep this as well because that's more money, and I will demolish this. Don't want shades. Don't want shades. Too early for shades. I want to get a death hag and a uh, another sorceress so I can go say hello to Mama Marathi. Yep, turn 13, the turn of the Horned Rat. Yes, yes. Oh, sometimes I get a bit too enthusiastic when I'm when I when I do a scathing voice. It gets a bit loud. Uh, okay, look here, still alive. So that means he'll probably stay alive for the rest of the game. I have noticed though in my campaigns, Lock here is losing a lot more to uh, Teclas and uh, Itza. Not to uh, Skrulk. Skrulk. Skrulky boy never bothers with Lock here. Skaven and Dark are actually quite firm allies to a degree. Depending on which Skaven you're talking to. Tretch, cut him down. Uh, Scar uh, not Skarsnick. Um, Queek, cut him down. Snitch, he's fine. Ikit, I would not want to go near his nukes. Uh, who's your favourite Lord of the Rings character? Oh, the number of times I've been asked this. <laughs> the number of times I've been asked, who's my favourite Lord of the Rings character? If I'm going to narrow it down a bit and say specifically from the Lord of the Rings books and movies. My favourite Lord of the Rings character, uh, Sean Bean as Sam, yeah. Yeah, that, that, is, that is a good one. He has a lot of character development and definitely has some good moments. But my personal favourite... Um, you may just think, oh, he likes elves, so it has to be Legolas, right? Or it has to be Elrond or Galadriel. Don't interrupt me. Shush. Shush, advisor. I don't want to hear you. Um, honestly, for me, my favourite character from just The Lord of the Rings, not The Hobbit or anything before or after, I think... Would have to be. I'm just trying. <laughs> it's actually harder than, than you think to say your favourite character because I I like all the characters not equally, but I like a lot of different characters for lots of different reasons. Oh, look at our treasury. That's the kind of money we want. Anyway, favourite character. I'm not trying to avoid the question. I'm just uh, struggling to think of a good answer. Um. Legolas would be a good get. Would be a good thing. It had to be Sar. I think it would have to be Saruman. I like Saruman a lot. Sur student of Orle, um owns his own faction technically, so he's uh, all a demon whisperer. What's this? Pleasure and pain, indivisible. I see the truth of it. I l don't like this at all. It's like, if you're going to annoy an enemy, just throw that into a sorceress and then just throw him in. But yeah, my, I'd say my favourite character is Saruman from uh, The Lord of the Rings in particular. I, I Honestly, I've actually just found on YouTube the scenes of him talking to the to his Urukai. And I just keep watching it back over and over and over again. Christopher Lee was just an, ama was an amazing actor. Um, may... may May his soul rest in eternal peace in, uh, in Val in the with the Valar in uh, fucking God damn it! How can I forget this? May he spend um, eternal peace in Valinor. Even though he was Dracula a lot of times, and I mean a lot of times. Uh, we've now got the aircon. We got we got AC with our sorceress. That's going to help us. My hair sticking up a bit. Ugh. Haven't been able to shower all week because um, we've had our uh, bathroom refurbished. So I haven't had, been able to have a shower since Monday. So my hair's kind of greasy. Gonna definitely gonna have a shower tomorrow. Need to clean myself up a bit. Uh, are they raiding us? Have they moved back to the Circle of Destruction? No, okay. Getting back over here. Not like he can do anything else. And I'm about to just send Malekith on a uh, mission for the Circle of Iron. Let's do it. 
Yeah, Saruman Man was played by Christopher Lee. Yeah, he's evil, but honestly, he wasn't doing what he was doing for um, for Sauron. He was doing what he was doing for himself. He wanted the One Ring. That's why he wanted the uh, the Hobbits back alive and unspoiled because he knew, just as much as Sauron, that the Hobbit was will uh, had the Ring in his possession. He wanted the Ring for himself. That was the whole, like, crux of why he turned evil. He was jealous of Gandalf. He was jealous of um, everyone else on the White Council. Even though he was the leader, he was... He, he's, he's literally a... It sounds wrong to say he's self-serving, but he technically is. But he built his own army, his own empire in a kind of way. If he beat, if he beat down Rohan, he would have put the smack down on Sauron as well. Although... Because he failed to find the ring, he was actually willing to just say, "Okay, Sauron, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm up your bud. I'm just gonna bow to you anyway." Anyway, let's get this started. I'm gonna get up this hill as soon as possible because it is not a good position for us. Uh. Ah. Uh, yeah, we had no, we had no heating. We had, uh, I couldn't even go in the bathroom until yesterday to brush my teeth because there was literally just we was there was so on the floorboards as well. There was, it was a mess in there. Honestly, it was a mess. Well, well worth it. It's all working fine now. It's all working fine, but I just not have time to have a shower, so I'm gonna have a shower tomorrow before I stream, and then. Uh, I have my hair less greasy and sticking uppy. Although, is this doing anything? <laughs> no. Yeah, he did technically duel the Nazgul in... Um, in... Uh, what's the word? He did technically duel the, uh, the Nazgul... In uh, the third Hobbit movie, although it wasn't with his with a sword, obviously it was with his staff. I think if um, if what Christopher Lee wanted to be uh, was to play as Gandalf, he would have um, shown a lot of experience with his with, with swords. He would have shown him experience his experience well, because he did he did originally want to play as Gandalf, but unfortunately, um, Ian McKellen was uh, picked over Christopher Lee. But he was, he was fine with it at the end. He was fine with it at the end. Oh, got on my side. Oh. Oh, I think my body's telling me I need to sleep. I think my body's telling me I've done enough for today. I should probably call it a day. So, yeah. We'll do this battle and we'll call it a day. Let's do a double line. I'm not going to check a board. Not, on, not against these uh, chaos. Chaos with chaos and checkerboard is not a good uh, combination because they have a lot of monstrous units. So, not, not, not the fact they have monstrous units, but the fact that this is mainly uh, knights and infantry. Don't need to do checkerboard. I could do checkerboard. I could turn this into a checkerboard formation. It's not exactly like it takes much effort to turn that into checkerboard. Yeah, we just want to move the Reaper Bolt throw into position. It's the slowest unit. Let's just speed things up. Oh. Yeah, my throat's getting feeling callous. My hairs on my arms are sticking up. I had a bit of a shave before I started, so um, that's that, that's one thing. I did I did, I did I did mind to have a quick shave around the beard area and the moustache and unibrow. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> Stop throwing magic at me. Stop it. Stop it at once. You like throwing fireballs at people? I'm going to throw fireballs at your forsaken. How do you like it? Huh, how do you like it? Uh, black guy should probably have you at the front. Uh, check a board, please. Are you going to attack me or not, then? I know he's going to throw fireballs at Malekith. You know he doesn't like fire. That's so insensitive. <laughs> do, you know, do you know why he's in this full suit of armour? 
It's not because it's beautiful and he looks beautiful in it. It's because he was burnt. He looks like dead. He looks like a dead devil. He looks like um, Deadpool, except he doesn't have the cancer. He just has very, very bad um, skin condition called burnt by Assyrian's fire. So yeah, he he's, he he feels that he's so insensitive. This wizard is so insensitive. He just keeps throwing fire at poor Malachi. <laughs> oh, but he's actually got very good fire resistance. He should have. Technically, if you want to be, uh, if you want to be law appropriate, he would have to be. Um... Oh yeah, so so it's what a war could be. Uh... Oh, <laughs> who says I was wearing pants? <laughs> no, I am. I am. I am. I, I just I just wear what I'm what I normally wear after after my day at work. I just can't be bothered to change, honestly. I don't have it in me to try and change. Oh. I do look I do love the voice quotes on the sorceresses. It's very um very commanding is the right word, I think. Very commanding. Not all of them are, but there are some good ones. Now, if you understand why everyone doesn't have a face cam, I per I personally bought the face cam so I would so I um so I could start pl so when I started playing on Twitch, um, I could hopefully get a bit of viewer retention. <laughs> have to get the viewers first though. I failed in the one thing. But at least now when I'm when I bring out YouTube videos, I've got a face camera, so uh, people can enjoy that as well. I I, I will admit, pe people were um. Very enthusiastic when they finally saw the face cam reveal after three years of YouTube videos. They, 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 definitely, they definitely were happy with the reveal. I was a bit skeptical doing it. The voice of the French girl. Is there a French girl who does this? Oh, you mean like for, um, yeah, for uh, Morgiana. And uh, Raponce and the um... isn't that the same voice for the prophetesses as well? Like devotee of the lady, that kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? Just less masculine. <laughs> Unfortunately, can't do much of a feminine voice. I'm not um, that well versed in uh, wordplay. I could do a deep Malakith if I tried. Oh, just being, just being able to look at the model in high, in a higher detail. This is so beautiful. Hey, yo, casting it from behind and my screen's about to turn off. <laughs> Mal Malakip just keeps taking those to the head. He's just, he does not care. He's sick of fire taking control of his life. Oh, I don't know. Gotta, gotta stay awake just a little bit longer. The battle's almost done. The reinforcements have arrived. Okay, you fall against the Dark Shards, just go over to this guy and kill him. I'm getting bored of his fireballs. I'm getting bored of seeing him just... I'm getting bored of wait, waiting for him to slowly kill me. I look like a hobbit. <laughs> really, that was you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I want to say I look like, look, more, look like a hobbit. I want to say I look like an ordinary Englishman. More than a hobbit. But well, actually, no. Depends on which hobbit. That's the better question. Or the better um, re response. Which hobbit? Eh? eh? Which which hobbit? Are you saying more like a Frodo Baggins? Or are you saying more of a... Uh, more of a Lobelia Sackville Baggins? What, what, what kind of uh, hobbit are we talking about here? Are they not moving or something? Oh my god, they're not even moving. I've wasted five minutes just talking and not even realising they're not even moving up. Oh my god. They all look young. Yeah. Bilbo, do you think he looks young? Other than obviously the, um, 
More like Pippin. I think I saw potential. What about second breakfast? Oh, nice. Ash on my tomatoes. I can't, I've kind of got the accent for a Pippin. <laughs> oh. Uh, I guess if I did my hair all curly like, I could do a Pippin. Although, not, not, not as good as Billy Boyd, though. Not as good as Billy Boyd. I haven't got his voice either. I haven't got quite. I haven't quite got his singing voice. Although, if if that was something to, for me for me to take from Pippin, I would definitely want to take the voice. Very good. Very very nice voice. Billy Boyd does have. Anyway, let's get Malakif to uh, entice them over. So that is no. I'm not going that far to move them that forward. Uh, almost out of magic as well. God damn. I don't like fighting this battle, honestly. I sound like Putin. <laughs> oh, well. Kind of gives, gives me an idea of uh, where you're from. Whenever, whenever I try to do a dwarf impression, I sound like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know why. Like... Like with the uh, finished Total War uh, Dwarf Announcer. Uh, only half the enemy force remains. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. <laughs> I kind of... Actually, no, the raspy voice kind of took away the, um, the Schwarzenegger there. That actually works. In my, that actually works in my favour a bit. I'll have to remember that next time. I can, I can actually do a good Gollum impression when I've not got a very... Bad hurting throat. Hurts too hurts too much to try right now. Maybe another time. Oh god. Oh. Oof. Oh burning head. These are marauders, yeah. Burning head. Come on. I don't know why I threw down the AC, I just decided to. It's getting hot in here, so turn on the AC. <laughs> uh, you've all got fire at will, right? Yeah, you're just not close enough yet. Okay, move Malakith a bit back. I don't want him dying because I wasn't paying enough attention to him. Uh, you two dark shards can move up. Okay, off force, off uh, that now. Let's get serious. It's time we got serious. In there. Oh, that was a waste of the Flamestorm. Flamestorm is not good on an open battle map when there's no clumping of the enemy units. You want to use something like Dwellers Below or Pit Shades because at least then you know where it's going to go. Oh, you. Uh, I could have used Firewall to stop that. Oh. We need to combine our powers to put on the ho this horse costume. You go front, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, I just, I just gained, I just, I just get, I just got that reference, like from Terminator. You, I won't be back. No, I will be back. Torment of Swords, get out of there, Malekith, please. Shoot down the exalted hero. Goldie's routing. Did the Black Guard die here. I honestly don't care. They're a bit too expensive for my taste. I'd rather get another Dark Shard unit. But obviously I don't want them to die yet. I want them alive long enough for, for me to get my Death Hag. Yeah, let me try saying that again. We need to combine our powers to put on this horse costume. You'll be front. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds so much better when I'm saying it, but you're probably hearing something completely different. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, my throat is dead now. Okay. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, okay. Gotta be a little bit quieter now. Close victory. Oh. That took longer than it should have. That took longer than it should have. Oh, God. Oh, that hurt so much. Oh, that hurt so much.
Okay, that's that's it for today, for tonight, whatever it is for you guys watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you'll enjoy watching it as a VOD on YouTube and Twitch. Ugh. It's gonna hang like this until the video, until the loading's over. over yet oh come on don't suddenly start taking long again i won't be i won't have it i won't have it it will be now or never oh come on i want to go to sleep <laughs> i'm tired and I need to drink something. Thanks, Ilya It's good. To, it's good. Good to talk to you as well. First actual uh, conversation with um, someone watching is actually uh, quite an, a uh, an interesting uh, turn of events. I honestly thought this was going to be a silent stream, out, like the last two have been. It's good to talk to you. But yeah, I plan to stream again, uh, 3 o'clock your time, 1 o'clock my time. Uh, if you're subscribed on YouTube uh, and you're following, I'm, I'm not, I don't plan on doing it yet, but I do plan on making videos saying stream starting soon. That is a plan. But yeah, that is it for today. The game has um, finished loading. So I will see you all next time. I hope you've all enjoyed. Tomorrow will be Age of the Ring, and then maybe we'll be coming back to this campaign. I will be back to it again. If not on tomorrow, then I will be back on this on Friday. This will be our new Friday stream. So it's a nice, relaxing game. Nothing too stressful. Nothing too stressful. So until then, my friends, ta-ta for now.